Today, folks, we're going to be talking about Pokemon Legends ZA because it does appear that we have a pretty good idea of when this game is going to be launching in 2025. And why do we have a feeling? Well, Pokemon is a connected franchise, right? It's not just the games. You have the trading card game, you have merchandise, you have shows, and all of this stuff gets timed together so through looking at other pokemon announcements you can end up coming up with really good ideas of when things are coming now pokemon legend za is currently only announced as a 2025 game with no given release timing however i do believe pokemon legend za is actually going to be a major holiday title next year not a spring or a summer title or i mean maybe earlier in the fall but probably a holiday title and that is due to some new information dug up by a very popular pokemon website called poka beach now we're going to go over there and take a look at the information they have on hand but before we do i want to remind you hey we are on our road to 150 000 subscribers so if you're enjoying this content i would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel for more nintendo news and goodness let's go ahead and look at what they have discovered because of the Pokemon trading card game. So, as you see here, the headline says, Pokemon trading card game may be hinting at a summer or fall 2025 release for Pokemon Legends ZA. So it says, Japan's Pokemon TCG sets always release around the same time as new Pokemon games. This is a fact. This is to market each other. Also a fact. Sword and Shield released on November 15, 2019 for the Nintendo Switch, and two weeks later, the Sword and Shield set hit store shelves in Japan. They introduced Pokemon 5 to the TCG and VMAX cards, referencing Dynamax Pokemon. All right, Starbirth featuring Arceus V-Star released on January 14, 2022 as the first set of the year. Two weeks later, Legends Arceus released for the Nintendo Switch, a rare case of a set coming before the game. Starbirth introduced Pokemon V-Star to the TCG. Pokemon V-Star were loosely inspired by the frenzied Pokemon in the game that were blessed by Arceus power. The mechanic lasted until V-Star Universe in December. A year. The following sets, Time Gazer and Space Juggler, featured the first Pokemon humans and settings from the game. They released in April. Scarlet and Violet hit the Nintendo Switch on November 18th, 2022. Scarlet and Violet X released two months later on January 20th as the first sets of the year. They reintroduced Pokemon EX to the TCG and Terra Pokemon EX representing terrestrialized Pokemon. All right, for most Pokemon games, a TCG set is always within two months of the video game it's based on. They also introduce new mechanics that are, at least, loosely inspired by the games. With all of this in mind, what can we glean from the upcoming trading card game schedule about the release of Legend ZA? We only know the game will release in 2025 and takes place in Lumios City and will feature the return of Mega Evolutions. We know Battle Partners will release in Japan on January 24th, its first set of 2025, which usually introduces the year's new mechanic. The official sell sheet tells us it will feature characters like Lono, N, and Lily. None of these characters are associated with Kalos as we know it. The name of the set also makes no obvious reference to Kalos as we know it. On February 21st, two pre-constructed decks will release named Starter Set X, Stevens Bedlam, and Metagross EX, Marnie's Morpeko, and Grimace Snarl EX. Again, none of these characters are associated with Kalos as we know it. The existence of these decks also implies the trading card game will be reintroducing owner's Pokemon in Battle Partners. We also know from the trademark listings that a set called the Glory of Team Rocket is in the works. The soon as this set can release is March. We don't know anything about the set, but presumably it will see the return of the Rockets Pokemon. These 2025 releases hint the trading card game will be focusing on owner's Pokemon. While we don't know much about ZA, it doesn't seem the mechanic relates to Kalos in a significant way. Not like VMAX for Galar, or V-Star for Hisui, or Terra EX for Paldea. Rather, it's as if the trading card game is stalling for 2025, reviving a beloved mechanic only because there isn't a new video game content to work with. 
Using a variety of popular humans from different games, including Team Rocket, also indicates this. The trading card game features new mechanics for a handful of sets. This means the owner's mechanic won't be dropped quickly. A defining feature of ZA will presumably be its mega evolutions. There's no doubt the trading card game will market this as it's done in the past, especially if there's new mega evolutions. Therefore, it seems the trading card game is hinting at Legends ZA set can't come until at least April. But assuming the trading card game features the owner's mechanic for a few sets beyond Rocket, it's most likely we won't see Legend ZA until at least summer. If ZA releases even later, such as Fall 2025, the trading card game could easily stall with more owner-themed sets throughout the year. Then once ZA is ready, the trading card game could market Mega Evolutions. Where ZA to release in the fall, we presumably get a Mega Evolutions returning to the trading card game announcement at next year's Pokemon Worlds. Of course, all of this is speculation and linear thinking, and obviously we'll have a better idea at some point in 2025. Now, this is all just very fascinating to me because it does look like summer is the soonest Legend ZA could come out, but I could see them at that point with summer that they might just make it the big holiday game. They do like to have holiday Pokemon releases, although they do release Pokemon games outside of the holiday season as well. But Pokemon always does really well for them during that holiday period. And if they decide to release Legends ZA next holiday, it could do extremely well, especially with Switch 2 on the market. The Nintendo Switch still having a really strong uh, user base. Holiday 2025 might be a really big time to release it, especially if it's timed, you know, a month or at least a few weeks after what other other big Nintendo IP might come out at that time. So that to me really seems to be what's lining up. Of course, we have no official release date and we don't really know. And just because this is what typically or has always happened with the trading card game doesn't mean it's what always will happen, right? Like tendencies are meant to be broken. I'll give you an example with the Pokemon series on a tendency that's been broken. They used to not discuss Pokemon games in Nintendo Directs. It was always in their own Pokemon events. And then, a year ago, they started talking about Pokemon games in Nintendo Directs. So, yeah, they already broke with tradition. We could easily see Legend ZA be in the next Nintendo Direct, let alone in a Pokemon Presents, or in a Nintendo Direct next year, or in a Pokemon Presents next year. So there's a whole lot of ways in which we could see Legend ZA in the future because they broke with tradition and now have set the expectation that, you know what? Pokemon could show up in any Nintendo-related event, not just Pokemon events. So, in the end, it just looks likely that it's definitely not going to be happening until, like, June, July, August, or later. Presumably, if they're bringing back the owner mechanic, they probably want to run with that for a few series throughout the summer. So, I would suspect they'll start doing the Mega Evolution thing in the fall, which, again, would line up with a fall release. And... Technically, winter doesn't begin until sometime in December, so a November release would technically still be fall. So, yeah, I, that's what I'm kind of banking at, and I feel like that's where the evidence is all pointing to at the moment. Pokemon Legends EA is a game that has a lot of mystery around it because it's just, we don't know that much about it. They announced it, and that's it. <laughs> like, we've had nothing. There's been nothing. There hasn't been, like, merchandise hints. There hasn't been trading card game hints. There hasn't been anime hints. There hasn't been new trailers, new information. They could argue there was a couple leaks back in April, but nothing that was really that extreme, and it's more so rumors than leaks, not verified stuff, so... I don't know, guys. Uh, what do you think about all this down in the comments below? Feels really cool to at least have something to talk about with Pokemon Legends EA. And obviously, full credit goes out to Poke Beach uh, for this theory and the writer on this, uh, the Water Pokemon Master. Uh, link to that article if you want to dig more or have any questions for them uh, and anything else you want to bring up because Poke Beach is, after all, the ultimate trading card game fan site. So they self proclaim. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for being here. I end with Inner Robo Jets. From Nintendo Prime, feels great to be back on camera. I need a haircut, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this beautiful, you know, just head of, head of a mop of hair, man. I need a haircut. Or I need to find, like, maybe I should style my hair like Ludwig, man. My hair is getting to that point. I can maybe do the Ludwig style. Maybe we'll try it on live stream tonight. That's right, folks. We'll be live streaming tonight. Uh, not sure what we'll talk about. Probably a little bit of Pokemon, a little bit of Zelda, a little bit of Switch 2, a little bit of whatever the heck happens because we're going to have a Q&A. So hopefully you guys decide to show up roughly around 8 p.m. Central Time. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.